Hello, everyone. I'm Benny DeCheca, Chief Executive Officer of Validation Institute. And today I'm joined by Dr. David Adamson, Executive Chairman and CEO of Arc Fertility. Hi, David. How are you today? Great. Thanks, Benny. Really nice to see you again. It's great to see you again. Uh, David, I'm just going to jump right into the questions because the work you do is so vital to helping women and really all folks achieve their goals of having a family. So can I ask, why are we hearing so much more about fertility and family forming benefits now? That's a great question, uh, Benny. There are really many reasons uh, that have occurred. Uh, infertility has been around for decades, but in the past uh, few years, uh, there's been a lot more discussion about it, especially by employers who are becoming aware uh, of infertility. Uh, the reasons for this uh, really started a lot with uh, the gender equity movement, uh, uh, which occurred several years ago when it became obvious that women were not really getting equitable treatment in the workplace. And, and when that came about, uh, one of the issues was around fertility and infertility care and freezing eggs. And so some larger companies uh, started providing benefits for fertility uh, to uh, to help those people and to make things more equitable in the workplace. But in addition to that, as we all know, there's been a lot of major social uh, upheavals in the last few years. Uh, a lot of issues around social justice have become much more evident. Uh, we had a Supreme Court ruling uh, stating that LGBTQ plus people could not be discriminated against in the workplace. We then had a pandemic, uh, which made people really rethink uh, family and, and work balance uh, and a lot of issues after the pandemic about uh, talent retention and recruitment and changed work environments, uh, as well as getting new generations with very different expectations about family and about how that fits into their work. And so all of these uh, different social trends and forces together have really uh, caused a markedly increased awareness about infertility, uh, fertility care, and family forming. Well, in keeping with the employers, and it's great to hear more and more of them are offering these benefits, what are the major barriers for employers in implementing family forming benefits, and what can be done to overcome these barriers? Well, uh, again, Benny, the, the biggest issue has really been lack of awareness. Uh, most uh, people are not aware that uh, historically one out of eight uh, heterosexual couples have difficulty getting pregnant. In fact, there was a recent uh, World Health Organization study that said uh, that it's one out of five people over their lifetime will have difficulty getting pregnant. Uh, and so the lack of awareness of this issue uh, has, has meant that uh, people thought, well, it hasn't happened to me, so it's not really a problem. But in fact, it affects a lot of people. And in addition to that, as we just discussed, when as we become more aware about uh, some real social injustices, the recognition that uh, single people and those in the LGBTQ plus community uh, really often need help to form their families. And they have uh, every right to form a family like everyone else. And so they often need uh, medical help, uh, fertility care in order to fam found their families. This has not been something that most people have been really aware of, but of course, it's really great that the more people are aware of that now. The other major barrier besides lack of awareness have been a perception that fertility benefits really cost a lot of money. And it's certainly true that some aspects of high technology uh, are not inexpensive. However, a lot of uh, fertility and fertility care can be provided through education, information, uh, good, healthy uh, lifestyles. Uh, and, and also when family forming benefits come in, uh, you get cost savings uh, through reduction of multiples and through better medical care. And so in the end, uh, it's really been found that fertility benefits do not cost companies that much money. Uh, but these two perceptions, lack of awareness and thinking it's gonna cost a lot of sort of held employers back, but there are uh, answers for these now. We're really happy about that, of course. Okay, David, so can you talk a little bit about the advantages and benefits to employers when they provide family forming benefits? Yes, uh, family forming benefits provide a lot of benefits uh, to the uh, company. So first of all, it's pretty obvious that if the benefits are brought in, uh, they're going to help the individuals who have infertility or those who need uh, help uh, with forming their families. And we also have good data that people who have infertility uh, really suffer in their ability to be productive at work. Uh, because of the emotional stress that comes from this, in particular anxiety and depression, and also financial stress around the cost. So 
We also know that when the benefits are provided, their productivity goes up, their engagement goes up, uh, and they're going to be more loyal employers. So there's really a benefit for the individual uh, employer when the benefits uh, uh, employee, when the benefits come in and to that employer. But there's a bigger story here as well. Uh, because uh, family forming benefits uh, really need to be inclusive and help uh, single people and also those in the LGBTQ plus community. There are many more people individually who will be helped in the company uh, than they might be aware of. And also, of course, having benefits that address DEI goals of the company are really going to help a lot uh, with uh, with company culture and with the, with their uh, strategic objectives. Uh, what's often also not recognized is that uh, infertility uh, and, and family forming goals that aren't met uh, are really affected by social determinants of health. Uh, in particular, uh, of course, uh, black uh, women access uh, care uh, only about half as often as white women, uh, not just through the financial barriers, but also because of lack of access uh, geographically to clinics and also um, because of uh, concerns and different perceptions about the healthcare uh, system. And, and other others uh, such as Hispanic uh, women also uh, have difficulty accessing uh, the, the healthcare system. So when family forming benefits are brought in, they help individuals, but they also significantly help the company culture. And when this happens, of course, uh, talent retention and recruitment goes up and this helps the company's bottom line. So in fact, there are many benefits for employers when they can bring in uh, family forming uh, benefits for everyone in the company. And besides being a past health value award winner, we're very excited at the Validation Institute that we were able to validate our fertility. Can I ask, why was it important to pursue validation? Well, we've been involved uh, with helping uh, uh, direct uh, consumer patients for 25 years now, um, and we know how important uh, outcomes are in healthcare. Uh, we all know there's a, a, a lot of inefficiency in our healthcare system today, uh, and that the outcomes in many, many cases, despite a lot of money being spent, are not that great. Uh, we really believe it's important uh, to be able to provide high quality, cost effective care with really good outcomes and to be able to document and, and prove that with evidence. Uh, as we all know, we live in a society with a great deal of marketing, and there's many claims made about healthcare, and many other aspects of society, which are very, very difficult to verify. And at Arc Fertility, we really believe in evidence-based care. We believe in putting the patient first and getting the best outcomes. And we want to be able to demonstrate that uh, to others who ask us about the program that we bring. And we uh, looked around and saw that the Validation Institute is a highly respected and regarded national organization that uh, provides real validation uh, for healthcare and, and outcomes and for what companies are doing. And so we were very excited to be able to participate uh, and send our data uh, to the Validation Institute. It was a very extensive and detailed and rigorous process. And of course, really delighted to be able to demonstrate with national publicly available data uh, that come from professional organizations and the government uh, that we could provide a superior care and cost savings to employers. So we think it's really important, uh, the work that the Validation Institute does, uh, because the uh, employers out there need to know uh, that when they're uh, uh, purchasing a product or service, they're getting the quality uh, that they really want and that they think that they're getting. Well, David, thank you very much for the great work you're doing out there with employers and just everybody, and uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you for being here with us today. Thanks very much, Benny. And for everyone out there who wants to learn more about Arc Fertility, go to validationinstitute.com and read their validation report. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.